Okay, now in question number 20, we have uh, similar uh, definitions as previous ones. Then we have been defined what is uh, what does it mean for indifference to be symmetric. And we know that when normal things hold, then my indifference is going to be symmetric. So the correct answer here is, uh, is symmetric, which is verified. Uh, I just want to give a proof. So again, I'm going to assume that my indifference relation is not symmetric. So what this means is that uh, you have x indifferent to y and negation of y indifferent to x. Okay. So what x indifferent to y means that you have negation of x preferred to y and negation of y preferred to x. And at the same time, you have negation of negation of x, so negation of y preferred to x and negation of x preferred to y. Okay. So, notice here what we are saying, we are saying negation of x preferred to y. Now, when I take this negation inside, this negation will cancel out. Okay. So, negation of negation of these things. Wait. So, this implies negation of x preferred to y and negation of y preferred to x but we have y preferred to x or x preferred to y. So one of these things have to be true. Now notice that these two things are no, these two things are opposite of each other and these two things are opposite to each other. So if one is true then we have this as false and if 2 is true then this is false okay so 1 and 2 if any of them is false the left hand side is rendered wrong so we end up with a contradiction so my assumption that uh, in my indifference is not symmetric has to be wrong and that's why uh, the correct answer is that it is symmetric. Now remember in all these questions now you might get such questions in exam. So if everything feels intuitive go with the intuition instead of trying to look for a proof because as you can see in this exam if you work with intuition you can get through all these problems in less than 5 minutes but if you start working on a proof uh, so intuition gets you 5 correct answers in 5 minutes but proof for each one would be about 5 minutes in an exam. Okay, so uh, so they are not going to give you very complicated things and the most important thing is you are not expected to produce a proof so don't even try doing it. Okay, so that's my recommendation.